Let's get started with teleportation. Whew, you guys have been asking for this one and I don't blame you <laughs> because the ability of teleportation is one that any and pretty much everyone would desire if they had the opportunity to get it. Also known by instantaneous movement, translocation to the simpler terms such as warping, jumping, blinking, or TP, anyone, and I do mean anyone, would want this power. Now we all know what teleportation is, even the less nerdy among us, but let's start with the more boring and neutral definition, and then from there we can just get crazy with this power. Teleportation, in its most simple and neutral of terms, is the hypothetical transfer of matter or energy from one point or another without having to be in the physical space between those two points. A user with this as a power is able to move instantaneously from one location to another without occupying the physical area in between them and their target location. <laughs> or they can transfer matter, such as beings, objects, or other powers, including themselves or their own power for some reason, and energy, let's not forget energy, from one point or another without traversing the physical space in between. I hope I didn't just repeat myself. And obviously this can be achieved by various means, like Seriously, the number of ways this ability has been portrayed are still increasing to this day. And no doubt, some of you have thought of your own unique way, which includes not limited to causing the atoms or molecules to travel at light speed, because light speed is near instantaneous to us, or within a short distance, bending or warping space, which falls into spatial manipulation, or using quantum superposition, which basically means you rearrange things at the subatomic level. Or you can just straight up manipulate concepts and have that teleport you. An example of this would be using the concept of cutting to cut distance in half or something like that. While teleportation may seem like it's simply for travel, it's anything but that simple. <laughs> as an extremely useful ability, it can pretty much be used offensively as a very powerful form of spatial manipulation, like I said earlier. Not only does it offer superiority in regarding movement speed and distance coverage, but any skilled combatant or strategist can use it in many innovative ways that border on the hilarious to the horrific. But that's just the thing with superpowers. No matter how silly or simple, if used right, they can border on the horrific. And you know what else would help with the possible horror? Knowledge. And where would you get it? right here. So do me a favor and warp your finger and hit that like and subscribe button so we can skip to the good parts with no filler. If you guys are ready to warp through this with me, then hit that share button and uh, let's go. Teleportation has been a very popular topic in science fiction for decades, obviously. And while it's still just a theory, because we can't prove it exists scientifically, yet it still hasn't stopped humans from using our imagination to picture what or how it could operate so with that being said you guys know where i'm going next because in myths and legends of days past this power was considered a necessity for most if not all upper tier gods <laughs> but in those legends you'll more than likely find liminal deities you know which are beings that exist on the border of something whether it be thresholds to other worlds gates to eternal paradises or doorways to secluded dimensions, being linked with this ability in most cases. In fact, most entities or wielders of divinity in their respective pantheons would have teleportation-like abilities as a prerequisite, if they wanted to be respected or feared. Okay, so the theory of teleportation at its core is the process of moving from one location to another without occupying the space in between. Yeah, this may be possible one day in the far future, but it'll either be too expensive to commercialize or will have way too many factors that need to be considered in order for it to really be of use. But that's just my personal opinion. We can move on from there. The reason that it might be possible is that in our real world, we have actual concepts such as the speed of light, which can be viewed as uh, instantaneous at any distance that doesn't exceed measurements in light years. We also have tachyons, which are hypothetical particles that move faster than light and as such are believed to not be affected by time and can phase through most forms of matter. In fact, not only are they not affected by time, but they're believed to defy it. The only downside is that these concepts still have to travel the distance. If that makes sense. They just do it insanely fast. 
But getting a little bit more on topic, there are objects or concepts that are believed to exist in outer space called wormholes, which in physics are hypothetical connections between widely separated regions of space-time, or even black holes, which are believed to transport matter to an entirely different dimension or area of space-time. But normally it's usually crushed by an extremely high amount of gravity and or pressure and spaghettified, if that makes sense. But just to remind you, this is not a science channel. All of what I said before are theories and have yet to been proven with our current level of technology. Give it about a good 100 to 200 years, maybe. In terms of popular culture, though, Star Trek was more or less known for making this ability mainstream, as they portrayed it as turning you into energy and then shifting your position from one location to another and then transforming you from that energy back into matter. Now, don't get me wrong. This does sound pretty cool. And when I saw it for the first time, I was pretty mind blown. But unfortunately, this is perhaps the most physically impossible manner in all of science and science fiction. There are a large number of different reasons that include enormous temperature and data storage requirements, computational time, meaning that the information would have to travel faster than light, which is impossible because we can't get it to do that now. And it would have to have a massive energy output or at least more energy than is available in the entire universe. And on top of all of that, it has unachievable transmission focusing resolution. <laughs> Meaning that if you were to use this method, you might not get all of you to your target location. Nobody wants to show up anywhere missing an eye or an arm or a couple fingers. But symbolically speaking though, whenever this ability is described, portrayed, or <laughs> used, the theme that it gives off is seen as a form of a uh, transcendence, I guess. I mean, it shows that you have the ability to move beyond the limitations of the physical world. And oftentimes, it's also associated with spiritual growth, freedom, and the pursuit of knowledge and advancement. I mean, that's what you're doing when you teleport. You're always moving forward, or at least always moving. But getting back into this concept as a superpower, there are numerous ways that this can be managed, from the dematerialization of something and then rematerializing it somewhere else, portals that act like uh, energy doorways or something like that, wormholes, which are basically portals connected by a spatial tunnel, you can bend or loop space, and uh, a lot more exotic things that have to do with the manipulation of space. But there's also the concern of whether the effect is technological or inherent to the individual. So if it's some manner of a technological device, then expect it to come with some kind of pseudo scientific explanation that, you know, something that doesn't make sense with how we understand science, but it makes sense to the people of that medium. And as such, it'll normally break down at plot crucial moments because you can't have teleportation solving all your problems. It really is a story breaker in most cases. But on the other hand, video games have embraced teleportation as a means to cross large distances and reach unreachable areas via things like uh, fast travel, respawn points, checkpoint creation, or, you know, uh, warp pads that lead to different places you wouldn't be able to get on the video game map by itself. But this ability can dabble into horror as well, as popular culture has played with the idea of unnatural, accidental fusions due to teleportation issues, such as a, a bug being in your matter transporter at the same time you decide to use it, which would then turn you into some weird mutant hybrid. But there are even worse examples like, uh, I think it's called telefragging, which is when the teleporter warps in the middle of something that previously existed, like a wall or furniture. But oddly enough in popular culture, even though air counts as matter, this is rarely an issue for the teleporter, which doesn't make sense because it's implied that the air is usually displaced outward when someone jumps into an open space. <laughs> That's not how it would work. You'd end up teleporting the air inside your body. But with that being said, if a user wants to use this power offensively, then they can teleport a victim into the vacuum of space, inside a solid rock or have solid rocks teleport inside them. They could teleport their victim into fire. They could teleport them underwater. They could teleport them into the blender dimension <laughs> or any other hostile environment where death is certain. And because teleportation is instant, most people wouldn't have time to react to this. If you go the Star Trek route of teleporting someone, then you could just choose to never put them back together, which would vaporize the target from existence. But it doesn't end there. There's also the partial teleportation feat, the, you know, where you teleport a part of yourself or a part of someone away or a part of an object away. That kind of doubles as portal cutting as well, where you create a portal inside of someone and it usually splits them in two. 
But focusing on portals, if it comes from a superpower or device or weapon, someone can warp their attacks, usually a ranged one. But a melee attack coming out of a portal isn't unheard of either. But anyway, they can do that and hit their target way more effectively, which would bypass most forms of defenses. Imagine this, you're sitting there with your impenetrable shield and then inside of your shield, a portal just opens up and someone's fist comes flying through it. I mean, that would shock anybody. This ability, however, can be shown in any manner you can think of as long as the user does not visually occupy the space in between one location and another, that's a form of teleportation. If you want to get creative, the highest levels of super speed can be conflated with this ability, but in actuality, just so you guys know, they are two very separate different concepts. But besides that, this ability can be shown in near infinite ways, ranging from using a natural element to teleport like light, darkness, smoke, or water, to targeting an object or person and switching places with them. You can hop into another dimension and reappear somewhere else on Earth. You can uh, recreate a doorway or portal that links two separate locations, or you could just be disintegrated in one location and then be rebuilt somewhere else or be sucked into some kind of spatial tunnel through a vacuum effect. But like I said before, if the user jumps from one place to another and no path can be identified, then you have a user of this power. Unfortunately though, there aren't really any colors associated with teleportation because it doesn't exist. But if I had to give it a color for you guys, because this is what I do, I would say blue as it's most often used to represent technology and the future or otherworldliness. But in reality or fictionality, <laughs> you can use any color you want. Just be sure you give it otherworldly properties like sparkles, swirling energy, some weird kind of glowing effect, whatever. Users with this power range the gauntlet when it comes to stats, but expect to see medium to high levels of attack power because they can bypass any form of defense, extremely high levels of speed as this is the bread and butter of this ability, and medium to high levels of defense because uh, you can just warp away from or warp away any damage or danger. In addition to immense versatility because like stated earlier, there are numerous ways this power can be used and portrayed as they pretty much border on the infinite. When shown and applied to users, normally users with this ability are portrayed as highly intelligent or at least extremely crafty. They're your typical free spirits and love to dance with the chaotic alignment as this power and concepts breaks every rule known to man so the user would reflect as such. But unfortunately, that's where this power is gonna have to end. <laughs> yeah, that's right, no skipping or jumping past this point. We'll have to continue the rest of this video in part two of teleportation. So remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys in part two of, well, teleportation.